Welcome to the National Weather Service Hazardous Weather Decision Support Briefing for Friday evening, December 9th. We're looking at an extended snowfall event across central and northern Iowa starting Saturday morning northwest and continuing over much of central and northern Iowa Saturday night into Sunday. We're looking at snowfall storm total amounts of 3 to 8 inches with the highest amounts north and east. This may result in slick and snow-covered roads and reduced visibility. This will be coincident with wind chills in the single digits and teens Saturday evening and Saturday night in the same areas. So if you're stuck in your car and stranded out on a country road, this could result in frostbite with prolonged exposure greater than 30 minutes. Taking a look at current advisories and some watches that are in place, you can see winter weather advisories are in effect for much of Iowa, north and east of Des Moines. This includes the Interstate 80 corridor from Des Moines East through Iowa City and the Quad Cities, Highway 30 from Carroll through Ames and Cedar Rapids, all of Highway 20, and the Interstate 35 corridor north of Des Moines through Mason City to the Minnesota border. Other winter storm watches are in effect for parts of Illinois and Wisconsin. These start at least as far as the winter weather advisories. They start in northwest Iowa Saturday morning and continue area-wide Saturday night through Sunday afternoon. Here's a quick look at storm total snowfall amounts. Again, this will not occur all in a short time. It will be a prolonged, varied intensity snowfall event starting in northwest Iowa Saturday morning, continuing Saturday night through Sunday before diminishing during the afternoon. You can see amounts from 6 to 8 inches are possible from Fort Dodge and Cedar Rapids north and east, and higher amounts up towards Mason City, Waterloo, and Decorah, where 8 inches or possibly locally 9 inches may occur. Across the Des Moines metro area, amounts may vary quite a bit from southwest to northeast with little or nothing southwest, up to maybe three or four inches north and east toward Des Moines, Bondurant, Newton, and Marshalltown. The period of heavier snow Saturday night will be coincident with wind chills in the single digits and teens. So be wary if you're traveling, make sure you have extra clothing, some food, a cell phone, just in case you become stranded on a highway, as a prolonged exposure of 30 minutes or more in these conditions could result in frostbite. Again, to review, we're looking at an extended snowfall event from Saturday morning through Saturday night and Sunday. This will be of varied intensity as of light to moderate snow, at times heavy snow, resulting in amounts from 3 to 8 inches, with the highest amounts north and east toward the Minnesota and Wisconsin borders. This will result in slick snow-covered roads and reduced visibilities. Visibilities may drop below a mile during the periods of more intense snowfall. This will be a coincident Saturday evening and Saturday night with wind chills in the single digits and teens, so frostbite could occur if you become stranded with prolonged exposure lasting greater than 30 minutes. Here's a look at some ways to get information during this event. The Iowa DOT has a great resource that includes road conditions and the locations of uh, snow plows, which include uh, still pitchers in some instances. For weather and forecast information, be sure to check the National Weather Service site at weather.gov slash Des Moines. And we have a dedicated winter weather page, weather.gov slash DMX slash DSS winter, that you can access via the link highlighted here. That will provide the current watches, warnings, and advisories, and snowfall amounts. So again, the latest weather conditions can be found at weather.gov slash Des Moines. You can also find information on Facebook at the link provided, Twitter, NWS Des Moines, and on YouTube. Thank you for viewing this Friday evening, December 9th, Hazardous Weather Decision Support Briefing from the National Weather Service Des Moines.